Question three is by Kimberly Nay. How do you make time for yourself when you go to college and work a full-time job? So I didn't work a full-time job, but I worked a part-time job, and I felt like you had to learn to balance out work, social life, and school. Um, I was a nanny after school four time, four or five times a week, and um, it took up so much of my time because I it was a half an hour drive from school to the house, and I had to get there right after class to pick the kids up from the bus, and then when I got there, I was, they didn't really always want to hang out with me, so I tried doing homework <laughs> while I was with them, and I always felt like I was I wasn't doing both like I wasn't doing my work well. I wasn't um, watching these kids as well as I should be, um, so I had to learn to just kind of um, shift my schedule a little bit to make sure I prioritized my work school, but then also when I was with the kids, uh, focused on them and was able to be with them and help them in any way they needed. Um, so yeah, I think that's a huge part. Uh, finding a job that works well with your schedule too. Because if the job is taking up more time, then it should, when you could be focusing on your homework, then I think maybe you should find another job that fits with your schedule better. I think uh, also kind of reverse of what you said is having the job and you need to get your paycheck and live your life and <laughs> you need money to do that. Yeah. So uh, sometimes having a full-time job in college, if you want to advance, you can take uh, only a certain amount of classes rather than taking on the full boatload and going as part-time in college instead of full-time and full-time because it is going to be a massive struggle if you're trying to do both of those and maintaining not only just going to school and going to your job every day but going out with friends and keeping up with everything it's, it's insane uh, I do highly dis regard dis on <laughs> I highly take grammatical. <laughs> so um, don't do that. Just if, you can't avoid it. if you can avoid it. If you can avoid it, yeah. If, if you have the ability to take only a few courses where it's one or two, uh, focus on the courses that really will pertain to you getting a job in that field. Yeah. So uh, in my scenario, I know it's very different between a web developer and somebody like a nurse where I can take courses that are specific to doing front-end development and I can do a boot camp and it's like a 12-week process and that's a very useful skill that I can go and use and bring out into the world whereas a nurse you're going to need that degree, a lawyer you're going to need that degree uh, so there are fields that are easier to work with and gain those skills that you need whereas some of them are bigger and harder to tackle. Don't underestimate the sort of validity of like night classes and online classes. Yeah. So I was for a while looking into law school because I was crazy for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> and um, I was at this event for a school which will be unnamed. And there was a gentleman there who was talking about how they have a night 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 class schedule and I was like that's exactly what I want I was working full-time I was like I don't have time I can't take time off I have to work full-time to be able to pay for this degree and this guy was like I would just take out the extra loans or whatever and you know go for day classes and everything I don't understand why people have night classes I'm like because life gets in the way. Yeah. Um, my dad went to law school for night classes. Most of the people that I, I worked with at, at the time were, because I worked in a law office, like I, all the other clerks who were in law school were taking night classes because it's, number one, degrees are expensive. Yeah. Um, and you can't always take out all those loans, especially knowing how interest in all that works. It's crazy. Hmm. And, Compounding interest. Huh? All that stuff. Compounding interest, all that stuff. Oh. It's so stressful. But, like, um, working full-time, I noticed that, you know, every once in a while, because we work downtown in Boston, I would walk by the library, and I would see this, the kids going in on Friday. Like, they just worked a full eight hours. They were going into the library to work. And I talked to one of them on Monday. I was like, hey, I saw you go in the library on Friday? Like, why are you there on Friday? Like, that should be your night. And he was like, no, no, no. I work on Friday, take Saturday off, and then I go back and I work Sunday night. So that you, you break up that time and you set, the, the biggest thing I think is setting aside time for you. So I didn't work full time in college, but I worked like 10 different jobs. So I felt like I was working full time. Um, and like every once in a while, I would just shut my phone off 
and yeah. watch Netflix and go to bed. And then, then on Saturday, I would like wake up on my own terms. And it was like, I wasn't on duty. If someone came to the door, I'd be like, go to this person, they're on duty. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> I would check in with them later and be like, hey, like, are you okay? You know, did that situation get handled? But you also have to remember to take time for yourself. If that means like, if you have a family that you work that you live with, um, taking time to be with your family. Um, if that means like telling your kids or your brother or whatever, like I need this amount of time to do my thing, to do to work on schoolwork, like find that time and find that balance that works for you. Yeah, I have I have two points here. Um, first, when you're considering doing full time work as well as going to college at the same time, don't be prepared for this to be a quick process. You know, don't don't think you're gonna work and get your degree in a year. Uh, perfect example, my grandfather, after he had my dad and was married, living in Chelmsford, he was a chemist and decided to go to Northeastern to get his bachelor's degree, and he did night classes for 12 years. Every semester he took a class, and after 12 years he finished summa cum laude. He would kick my dad and my grandmother out of the house every night he needed to study, but it's a long, long process. So don't go into this thinking, this is going to be quick and easy. It's something you got to be committed to. It's Good expensive. Yeah, he uh, he doesn't like to talk about it much, but he's just a humble guy. The dark days. Well, that, that goes back to what I was saying too about only taking a few classes and don't go like hard right. into both. Don't burn yourself out quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing as well, in my current position as a digital advertising specialist, I write and I see a lot of ads for a lot of these schools that specifically target people who are working adults, mm-hmm. um, MBA programs, nursing programs, engineering, etc. So. If you already have the full-time job and you want to stick with that full-time job, maybe don't necessarily look at switching jobs, but look at switching schools. Because I, I don't know about your case, Kimberly, but it almost sounds like here you're working and you don't know what school to go to yet. You just want to know how to balance it. Do your research and look for the schools that are specifically targeting or who have programs specific for students that are working. Because um, you won't be the only student in that classroom or the only person in that, at that school working full-time. It would be a collection of you guys. The curriculum would be going around that. Um, yeah, just do your research, for sure. Yeah, it's, uh, Emily is actually in graduate school right yeah. now, and she's a full-time nurse. So her schedule has been hectic and very stressful for not just her, but the both of us, and trying to figure out when we have time and uh, looping back to having schedules. Yeah. It's very useful and helpful to jot down what time things are going to happen and where we're going to be and what time is study time, what time is uh, like dinner out, uh, yeah. like the other night we went out, uh, when are things going to happen and then that way nothing's like it's crunch time and I got to yeah. get this done and freaking out and the house is on fire and dog ran over the fence and every, everything. Or worse. into the yeah. fence. <laughs> <laughs> that has yeah. happened. I know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, scheduling is definitely important and uh, I, I feel that don't try to do both yeah. full. I can't reiterate that enough. I, I think you're going to burn out way too quickly and be very stressed. If you need to take a semester off, do it. Yeah. People do it all yeah. the time. A semester, a year. Just make sure you go back. Don't, yeah. Yeah. don't go halfway and then just be done with it because you have nothing to show at the end. You've put the money. You've put the effort in. Finish what you started. That's uh, looping back to that too. Emily took a semester off for when we got married because we had so much going on. Bought a house, and, all that stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so mm-hmm. if if you have certain life events that are popping up and you know it, it's yeah. no problem to just take the semester, pump the brakes, life and happens. then pick it up and yeah. finish. Yeah. Figure it. out what's important for your health yeah. and yourself. And don't try to be mm-hmm. alone. So I mean, if you're you have if you're living with a partner, if you're living with a family. Um, <clears throat> If you live near your parents and you have kids, like talk to them and see what what they can do to help ease this burden for you. You know, talk to your your partner about like what you guys can do. You know, going out, even just going out for dinner once every month or so, can just be a little thing that you know helps you get along. Get takes your mind off everything for like ten minutes or twenty minutes, and make sure you shut your mind off from work and school for that. Um, because you do like you you can burn yourself out that way and you don't want to do that because if you like what you're doing full time and you like the classes that you're taking like you want to do well and you you can't do that if you're if it's always on your mind and you don't take time for yourself so like you're asking how to make time for yourself dinner go to a movie just 
take a nap sometimes. That can be enough. Um, read a book that you want to read and things like that that has nothing to do with your classes or work. Just shut everything off for a little bit, even if it's 20 minutes, and just take time away from it so that you can take care of you. Yeah, well, you said reaching out to family and friends, but it's also very nice to have your alone time where mm -hmm. Emily and I are very much in that same boat of when I'm stressed at work and I just need like a day or, you know, four yeah. hours to just yeah. be, hey, can we just live separately but in the same house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to me. Yeah, it's, a, it's a huge mental relief and you have that ability to kind of recoup everything and get ready for the next day. Yeah. Yep. And go out and like be, be alone for a little bit if that if that's what you need. Um, I'm not an introvert. I'm an extrovert through and through. But every once in a while, I'm like, I just need to go and do something alone. I went to the movies alone last Friday, and it was great. What did you see? Yeah. I saw the Mary Poppins one. And it was I just great. saw that. It was good? It. Yeah, it was really good. And was I was a movie. there. And <laughs> Dick Van Dyke was yeah. in it, so that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Was it good? Really? Yeah. yeah. 93 years old, dance on yeah. the desk. Wow. wow. Yeah. So let's review that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going into the yeah. CX reviews. Yeah. But even though like, it was just something I could do and you know, I had a little bit of stress at work because we've had deadlines going on and I was like, this is nice. I'm just, it was just me and no one there being like, I need to make comments in your ear about this movie and I got to enjoy it. It was great. So do yeah. something that you're going to enjoy. I'm an introvert, so I love my alone time. Yeah. My little cubicle over there. <laughs> no one talks to me. It's great. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I think everyone, like introvert, extrovert, everyone kind of needs that alone time at yeah. some point, at least like once a week, to decompose and to yeah. stress after everything. Especially if you're working a full time job and taking night classes, you need something Don't be to break it up. Just, it's great. <laughs> like Sunday to yourself. Yeah. 